Welcome back guys, time for another exciting video and today in this video I am going to show you some of the list of the best 5G phones that you can buy from a price range of 10 to 30k. But we have some special requirement today, the phones I am going to show you, those are much better for gaming or performance side. So maybe the camera is not that great compared to the phones but if you're looking for performance, these phones are really good. So what are the cool features that a gaming phone should be having? Of course, this CPU should be very good. For the gamers, display should be priority. Like the more refresh rate you get, the better experience you will get. Should be having the AMOLED if possible. Phone has to be lightweight. For the long gameplay session, you cannot hold a heavy phone, correct? And of course, since these are 5G phones, the 5G fans should be more than enough for covering all the network. And at the last, not the least, the charging rate has to be better because, you know, the more battery you have, the more heavier is the phone. But if you have faster charging technology, you can quickly top up your phone. There are so many phones to tell you. I'm just quickly going to show you all the phones that you can buy. Okay. Let's first start with the price range of 10 to 15k in this price segment is like you know finding pearls <laughs> okay but for the performance i think these phones are really good starting with the least i think the iq jet 6 Lite is one of the best recommended phone that you can buy on the cheapest price it can give you a lightweight design good looking phone it has a 50 megapixel camera those are cool but the display is 120 hertz which is good and it is quite bright enough you know? like i don't need to show you guys it's really bright display and you get the latest snapdragon 4 gen 1 which is very good for this price segment another phone you can get is the vivo t1 or the iq jet 6 and uh, this is again having nearly same specs like this but uh, you're getting again the 120 hertz lcd display the cpu is a snapdragon 695 which is slightly better than snapdragon 4 gen 1 yeah these two phones only have the cons like the 5g band is slightly less and the charging rate which you're getting in this price segment these two phones are really recommended now we are stepping up the performance and increasing the cpu raw power if you go with the Narjo 50 and the Realme 9i 5G, these two phones can give you a seriously killer performance under 15K. They come with the Dimensity 810, which is super cool in this price segment. But yeah, the cons is that like you are getting the 90 Hertz display, which is bright enough, but you know, some place you have to compromise, especially on the lower price segment. Other than that, both phones are really cool, cameras are cool, and uh, they are slightly chunky, but powerful phones guys really the fastest phones you can buy under 15k anyways and for the charging stuff the realme narjo 50 5g can give you a faster charger compared to realme 9i so keep that in the mind do read these specs on the somewhere here and there apart from all these four phones exactly on the 15,000, you can buy poco m4 pro 5g those who want to get a poco xiaomi phone now this is a very good phone like lightweight and it's a comfortable phone like it doesn't have any square or chunky edges so for the gamers it's very good lightweight the display is 90 hertz lcd that's the only cons and it's also not very very bright display you can get some better display phone on this price segment also but the cpu is very powerful dimensity 810 and the camera setup is also very good 50 plus 8 so you know generally you get only just single higher megapixel here you have additional ultra wide sensor also the poco m4 pro 5g is a good choice for the gamers on the price of 15k at the least there are two phones which you can buy and they are the uh, poco x4 pro and the moto g82 5g on the cpu side you are getting the snapdragon 695 which you can already get under 15k but the good point here is that you are getting an amoled display which is 120 hertz that's why i am recommending these two phones only because of the display and the screen size and uh, if you go with the motorola it is much recommended compared to poco x4 for the gamers because it is stock and wide and very fast and snappy but the speakers are really good for the poco x4 pro yeah you get the headphone jack in every phone so that's a cool point this is much lighter compared to the poco x4 pro both phones are good for the stock one this is recommended for the xiaomi redmi fans this is a recommended one okay now uh, we are going a slightly above this price segment 
and we have the next phone the samsung galaxy f23 why this is recommended because you get a really powerful cpu snapdragon 750g which is a lot better than compared to snapdragon 695 on the cons yes of course there is an lcd panel which is a drawback but yeah it is 120 hertz so keep that in the mind cameras are good you can film 4k videos which is rare in this price segment i mean considering all the phones that you're getting like the Poco and the Motorola, they can film Full HD, but you can film the 4K here. So Galaxy F23 is again very good phone, but you have to get an LCD display here. Another phone is very exciting. This is Infinix Zero 5G. Now, this is the very rare phone where you are getting a UFS 3.1 storage. Camera setup is very good. You are getting a telephoto lens on this price segment, like which is very rare. Okay, big display and the battery backup standby is really amazing in this phone. And it doesn't have a plastic, it has a vegan leather. So for a long period of holding, you know, it is not much slippery. It gives you a better grip. That's why this phone is very recommended for the gamers. Now we have two more phones from the Realme, the Narjo 50 Pro and the Realme 9 Speed Edition. This phone you can exactly get on the 20K and it comes with the, one of the best specs for the gamers, Snapdragon 778G in combination with the 144Hz refresh rate which is awesome but it has LCD display that's the only cons. The cameras are not very impressive but you can film 4K videos which is cool. Anyways, next phone is the Narja 50 Pro. You get the powerful Diamond T920 which is a good deal on this price segment phone is lightweight it looks good cameras are also good but a display you get here is just 90 hertz so it is again a kind of a cost but the cpu is really powerful yeah this phone is exactly on the border like 20,000 sometime 20,000 21,000 but yeah with the card offers you can exactly get this phone on the 20,000 so these are the phones guys from the 15 to 20k for the crazy performance now we are going slightly up first let me cover you some 90 hertz display phone now this phone is very exciting so why this phone is unique for the gamers first this is the best rated phone on the amazon 4.3 star i think the highest rated phone this is very lightweight slim design phone so again pretty great for the gamers and uh, it comes with the amoled display and it has a really powerful dimensity 900 cpu you get the oxygen is here which is very clean stockish very fast cameras are again very decent everything is very good here except just 90 hertz so if you're playing 90 hertz game the nord c2 should be your best option Another awesome phone you can try is the Realme 9 Pro Plus. It comes with the Dimensity 920, the same as the Narjo uh, 50 Pro. But the only advantage here is that prices, of course, increase, but you're getting a glass back panel and you're getting a very crazy Sony MX766, the best camera system in this price segment. And you're also getting a faster charger. So increase the price and get a lot of good details. So this is again a very good gaming phone. And for the gamers, the lightweight should be priority. So you can try out, guys, the Xiaomi 11 Lite. Even though this is Xiaomi 12 Lite, you're getting the Snapdragon 770. G, very powerful CPU the lightest phone in the world for the 2021 so again very good it has AMOLED display but just 90 hertz but camera setup is again very good faster charging also available so me Light, you can also consider you know if you can go with the last year phone another phone you can try is the IQ Jet 6 Pro the main selling point of the IQ Jet 6 Pro is the display is very good you get the 1300 a uh, full HD plus super AMOLED display which is super crazy for this price segment. So IQ Jet 6 Pro is a very good phone for the gamers if they are looking for a fast gaming phone. Next phone guys uh, we can try out is the Xiaomi 11i which is slightly older now we are going to see Xiaomi 12i in a couple of months from now but this phone is still very amazing you get a really powerful demonstration 920 cpu the display is very beautiful the uh, you know 1200 nits full hd plus super amoled display 120 hertz refresh rate those are some amazing features really powerful dual speakers you get the headphone jack and ir blaster type c everything you get on this phone slightly bulky but very very powerful phone you can buy in this price segment Last year, Samsung has launched the Galaxy M52 5G, which I think still is a very great buy compared to the Samsung Galaxy M53. I think Snapdragon 700G is a lot better than Dimensity 900. So if you're okay with the slightly older phone, then you get the 120Hz Super AMOLED display and the cameras are very good. Lightweight, slim phone for the gamers, you get the everything, but there is no headphone jack. Okay, this is again having the same footprint, but the Dimensity 900. So if you are okay with the slightly lower performance you can go with the m53 otherwise galaxy m52 is an awesome choice 
Now there is another phone from the Samsung, the Samsung Galaxy A52s. You get that in the border of like around 25,000. Some place it is still available. You get the waterproof phone, a decent camera setup, like a very good camera setup, not decent. 4K recording, YS, and you're getting 120 Hertz, super AMOLED display, which is super awesome. This phone is IP68, so you don't have to worry about like, you know, you can play a game outside in the rain also. Perfect phone for the gamers and for the everyday use. And the last phone on this price segment is the Motorola H30. I really like this phone, guys. And a couple of the awesome features here is that you get the Snapdragon 778G Plus, not the regular one. So that makes this phone slightly faster compared to other. Plus, on top of that, you are getting a 120 Hz Super AMOLED display, which is the OLED display. So this is a very rare combination on this price segment. Lightest phone in the world, so it can give you a very you know, pleasant experience. The battery backup is not really good, but charger is really fast. You can top this phone very, very quickly. Okay, now we are on the our last segment, the 25 to 30 kit. I'm showing you 190 hertz display phone because otherwise this phone is very cool. This is the OnePlus Nord 2T. This phone is very, very premium looking phone. You get the alert slider like there's a premium feeling on this phone segment, in this phone. So display is good, performance is very good, Dimensity 1300 and uh, Oxygenus is still very very clean and fast. Cameras are very good for this phone. The only cons just 90 hertz but you're getting an 80 watt fast charging so that makes this phone really faster. Okay, another phone with the same spec but slightly lesser price. This is the Oppo Reno 8. It gives you nearly same experience, same display like same CPU but with a lesser price. The Oppo Reno 8 you can also Consider now guys we have another phone which you can try out and this is the nothing phone one it again a very good phone like uh, it has a lot of good features the only problem is that uh, it comes with a slightly brighter display max 700 it's not the th thousand or 12 minute which you usually get on this price segment other than that just very good stock and white and looks really premium transparent cameras are really awesome so many many cool features with this Snapdragon 770G. So you can also consider this phone. Moving to the next phone, we have the IQ Neo 6 and the Redmi K50 right now. You guys can decide whichever you want. For the really faster, the IQ Neo 6 is slightly better compared to Dimensity 8100. You get the very bright AMOLED display, 13 inch peak brightness, everything is good on this IQ Neo 6. So consider IQ Neo 6, it's very, very stable, powerful phone. Now why K50i is important because you are getting a 144Hz LCD display but you get the really powerful dual speakers, you get the headphone jack uh, which is missing on the IQ Neo 6 so that's why this phone is much recommended in case you need a headphone jack. Now last two phones guys are very very impressive phone. They are the Poco F4 and the OnePlus 10R. Now you can pick any of one like these are the best phone for this price segment see for the poco the problem is that like they are weird software update making phone break so that's the only reason i don't recommend this phone much often but for this specs it is a very good phone you're getting a snapdragon 870 really powerful cpu you're getting a dual speaker really good cameras and a really better display it has a very bright hdr10 you know super amoled display super cool phone you can buy on the oneplus 10r you're getting the dimensity 8100 max which is slightly lower than 870 but it is very capable and powerful cpu you're getting a flat 120 hertz amulet which is very nice but you're getting a clean stock and white and they don't have much software issues like the snapdragon 870 so i would recommend you oneplus 10r as one of the best gaming phone you can buy right now but yes there are a lot of cons for the gaming perspective this is a very good option Otherwise, Poco F4 overall is a very well-balanced phone. So yeah, guys, those are some of the phones which you can buy on this price segment from 10 to 30K. And uh, yeah, do let me know your thoughts too, which you think is the best phone according to you. Thank you so much for being invited. This is Zara, and have a great day.